global change is a, it's a global issue. But this part of the world has the privilege of having all kinds of changes, from micro seisms to forest fires to transboundary transport of pollutants. Tourists enjoy the sun and the sea in the Messenia region in southwestern Greece. This is Costa Navarino, a newly built luxury ecotourism facility. The resort houses the Navarino Environmental Observatory, a climate research station operated in collaboration between Stockholm University, the Academy of Athens, and the Greek development company Temis. Costa Navarino is actually a dream come true. It was the dream of Captain Vasilis Kostantakopoulos. Uh, famous ship owner, late Captain Vasilis Kostantakopoulos, who had this vision to leave something back for Messenia, his homeland. He, he loved his homeland and he saw back then that tourism would be a way out uh, for Messenia and for young people to stay in their homes and create new jobs for them. So he, he wanted to do something but with respect to the environment and the local community of Messenia. He was a keen environmentalist back in his age when it was not trendy to be one, but he was. So uh, he gave the directions of how this should be done. Uh, and he said, like, use as less water as possible, protect the nature and uh, cooperate with all the people here in order to do it. The effects of climate change may already be showing up in Messenia. Long droughts are causing seawater to intrude into the local groundwater, and there's been a big increase in the severity of forest fires in recent years. It's, it's one of the regions in the world where the, all the climate scenarios for, for the future point that, that the climate will, we will get warmer and drier climate. And it is already warm and dry, and we will see an increasing population and we really need to learn more about how the situation will be in the future if we are going to be able to find a sustainable future for people in this region. But much more data will be needed before scientists can say with any certainty that these observations are a result of increased atmospheric carbon dioxide. Uh, this is our pride and joy, I think. This is the project that uh, we're all very proud of. Uh, we consider it to be a unique uh, cooperation between the private sector and the academic community. It's also already from the start uh, designed to be a meeting place for scientists. And, and there are facilities so people can stay here for a while, uh, work, have access to laboratory facilities and so on. So it, it's a platform for both research but also for a scientific exchange. It is uh, indeed a honor and privilege to have uh, good scientists come here at the edge of uh, southwestern Greece and uh, study the environment and its changes from uh, a few millennia back and uh, calculate what will happen in the few hundred years to come. Researchers are hoping the Navarino station will produce results that shed light on both local and global changes in the atmosphere, on land, and in the sea. It means that we get a base for Mediterranean research, so in particular how water conditions change in this region, Greece and Eastern Mediterranean. And uh, this, is, um, this area has a particularly severe lack of data uh, which we need to bridge. What we are measuring here is uh, particles and gases in the atmosphere. And we measure it to get a picture of how it looks in this eastern part of the Mediterranean. And it's important to get a knowledge of how the influences from natural sources and anthropogenic sources to be able to determine how much that influence our air quality here and how it uh, affects the climate. To make predictions about the future, scientists need to understand how climate has varied over time. One way to find out is by studying stalagmites in caves, which serve as natural climate archives, revealing nature's own records of climatic changes through the ages. The dream of the late Captain Konstantakopoulos for a world-class research center in Messenia is now a reality. 
and the resort is also home to the exhibition space Natura Hall, where research meets the public. But how will the Navarino Environmental Observatory contribute to the future of climate change research? Well, I think there are, there are several areas where this cooperation, this research cooperation can, can, can be important and make a difference. One is that some of the issues like hydrology and water and also air pollutants and their relationship with, with climate change, those are issues that are being studied all over the world and whatever is generated here can also benefit others. Secondly, you have local and regional problems here where you lack a lot of data. And, and I think the best that DEO can do is to provide those data and then to provide a, a much better uh, ground for, for good policy decisions. If you don't know what's happening, how can you then uh, develop good policies? And thirdly, I think the fact that you have Temes, a big company focusing on tourism and ecological tourism as a partner is very important because then the business community can be um, alerted about this, can be informed about this. So you can disseminate the, the experience much, much broader than what you usually can when you have a research station like this. Uh, we have uh, great expectation and uh, great visions for what this uh, is going to become and uh, reality proves us right because we started uh, in 2009 when we started when we signed the agreement and from this time to now there's so many things that have happened like we have PhDs we have courses running now we have the inauguration of the new station and uh, the possibilities are endless I think uh, in a few years, like everybody will be talking about NEO, and uh, we will see like publications, scientific research. We just started. I have a dream, a song to sing.